Welcome to Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In this episode, we're going to look at how Citrix app layering with user layers makes it possible for users to have their apps and data persist across sessions on non-persistent desktops. Taking a look at the user experience, consider a user launches a desktop from a delivery group made from a non-persistent machine catalog. If the base image of the machine catalog had been created using Citrix app layering with user layers and the user is logging in for the very first time, a user layer is created for that user. Once the user layer is created, it is mounted onto the user session using Citrix app layering elastic layering technology. Now the changes that the user makes in this session are captured and redirected to be saved into the user layer in a predefined storage location. Once the user logon completes, note the name of the machine that the user has logged into for this session. Windows 10 MCS ALUL 1. Let's say the user wants to install an application that is not delivered to all of the users in the delivery group and would like to use it again in later sessions of the same desktop. For our example, consider that paint.net is the application the user wants to use. As the user would normally do, downloads the application from the website and then goes ahead and installs the application. Note that the user installed the application in its default location and not any special predefined folder. We have sped up the process of the install. Once the application is installed, consider the user needed to log off from the session and tries to log into a new session from the same delivery group. In a normal non-persistent desktop scenario, the user's installed paint.net application would not be available to the user when they try to log into the new session. The user is able to log into the session much faster this time as the user layer only needs to be mounted. Note the name of the machine that the user is logging into during this session. Windows 10 MCS AL 2. Different from the machine the user logged in into the first session. With user layers, when the user launches a new session from the same delivery group, the user is able to get access to a desktop with all the changes that were made in a previous session still persisting. As you can see, pain.net application that the user had installed is still available in the new session on another machine from the same pool. Now that we understand the benefit from a user perspective, let's take a conceptual look at user layers. Before user layers, there existed two models of desktop delivery to the user. The hosted or pooled VDI model, where the user gets a session to a machine where user actions are reverted on log off. This model has the advantage of ease of maintenance for the admin as only a single image needs to be patched and updated. The second model is the persistent dedicated desktop model where the user has full control over the desktop. In this model, the admin has to individually maintain each of these machines just as he would have to do separate physical desktops, increasing the effort and time spent on managing the same number of desktops. The way to get the best of both worlds is to be able to provide the user the persistence of data and applications that they need while giving administrators the time and cost savings of fully managed pool desktops. This is where user layer comes in. When using app layering, we are familiar with the three sets of layers, OS, platform and applications. We know that application layers can be deployed using elastic layering. Similar to the elastic app layer is a user layer. This allows the admin to define a storage location where all the user's data and locally installed apps are stored. At user logon, app layer mounts this folder onto the session image. When the user interacts with the desktop or session, the data and apps are redirected to the folder that hosts the user layer over the network. Once the user logs off, the folder is unmounted with the data and settings and apps intact, even though the machine could be reverted. The next time the user logs in, this folder can again be mounted as a user layer. 
Coming to the types of user layers, there are three. Full, all of a user's data settings and locally installed apps are stored on their user layer, including the user's Outlook data and settings. Office 365, this is for the desktop systems, only the user's Outlook data and settings are stored in their user layer. A session Office 365 layer is same thing, but for session hosts. Now that we conceptually understand how user layers work, let us see how you would set up the user layers for your users. First, we need to create an SMB share where the user layers will be stored. You can specify more than one storage location for your user layers. For each storage location, including the default location, you need to create a slash user subfolder and secure that location. Security of each user location folder must be set to the values shown on the screen by a domain administrator. To configure the user layer storage location, log into the ELM as a domain admin. Traverse to system and select storage location. Click on add storage location. The first location added is the default user layer. We will need to add a name and the network path and then click the down arrow. To assign a particular user group to a storage location, search for the particular user group in the Active Directory tree. Select the Active Directory user group and press the down arrow. Click down again and then click on Add Storage Location button to create storage location. If you have more than one storage location, we can set the priority of the user layer storage to figure out where the user layer is created when a user is there in more than one user group that has been associated with storage locations. Click on the prioritize storage location option on the action pane in the right. Then select the storage location whose priority you wish to change and use the up and down arrows to set the priority. Click on prioritize storage locations to complete the process. Make sure that all users have at least read permission to the main layering share, which contains the JSON files that store the association of the layers to the user groups. To associate a user layer to an image template, go to Images and select Edit Images. Click the down arrow button to get to the Layered Image Disk tab. Under Elastic Layering, select Application Layering. In the User Layer section, select from one of the three types of user layers that we have discussed before. Full, Office 365 or Office 365 session. Click the down arrow again and click on the options to either save the template or save the template and publish it. Then the image that is published can be used as the base of a non-persistent machine catalog that provides users the ability to have their data and apps persist across desktop launches.